Welcome to the Basketball Diary. I'm Wu. I got a guest today from Senegal. His name is Maurice Endor. He graduated from Ohio University recently and uh, tried out for the NBA draft. Uh, this summer he's going to be with the New York Knicks Summer League team in Vegas. What's going on, man? What's good, man? How you been? I'm been good. Um, there's a lot of stories. Most people don't know Mo has like uh, a, quite a resume on his traveling list and um, before we even get to that part I want to talk about how you got into USA um, you were in Senegal yes sir and how did you get discovered and where did you go right after Senegal um well you know growing up in Senegal well first I would say that I started playing soccer um, then I got introduced to the game of basketball when I was eight and uh, you know I kept playing the game and I fell in love with it since then and never stopped and um, one day, it was back in 2008, I just went to a tournament at the Seed Academy, you know, and I played pretty good. And, you know, somebody just approached me and asked me if I wanted to go to Japan. And, right. you know, growing up from Af Africa, you don't have a lot of opportunities. So when that opportunity for me um, to go to Japan came in, I just jumped on it. So you went to Japan, mm -hmm. you played some basketball. One year or two years? Three years. Three years, yes, right? Sir. So that was the age between? That was the age between 15 to 18, going 15. to my 19. All right, nobody called you in the USA. Nobody ever saw you. So you got picked up in Japan. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, somehow you landed in Monroe College in New mm -hmm. York, junior college. How that came about? Um, well, you know, out of high school, I had three choices. You know, I could go and start my pro career in Japan, or I could um, go to a yeah. Oh, we got a plane up. <laughs> Just got to talk a little louder. So go um, ahead. So uh, I had three, three, three um, options. Go to the university in Japan or go to pro straight out of high school or come to the United States and yep. you know, get my degree. And uh, I definitely didn't want to stay in Japan because I wanted to go somewhere where the competition level is way better. Right. Um, and I wanted to get my degree in the United States. So, you know, I was getting recruited by the University of Portland at that time. Um, but my SAT score wasn't that good, so I had to go to a prep school route. Um, you know, they put me in touch with some prep schools, it didn't work out, and I basically just, you know, told my coach back in high school that I'm going back home. Right. You know? So I went back home, spent six months over there, and um, one of my guys, he's my mentor and my big brother, Ali Unenjai, just called me and asked me if I had a school, and I told him no, so I sent him my highlight tape in high yeah. school and he sent it to a couple of coaches and you know for, based on that I just had a scholarship from Mundo College from just watching my highlight tape. Just a video on YouTube. Just a video on YouTube. You went to you went to Monroe for two years. Mm -hmm. You're on a pretty stacked team. You got a buddy that was also on the New York Knicks Summer League team last year, That's Orlando right. Sanchez. Mm -hmm. And then you played with AJ at Nevada, mm -hmm. uh, Steph at Seton Hall. How was that experience for you? I mean, going to Monroe was the great thing, that, the best thing that could happen to me, you know. Um, I got to maximize, you know, my talent and my opportunities, which is, you know, once again, I got my associate degree. Then I played a pretty, in a pretty good level of junior college basketball, yeah. you know, with some pretty good players. Yeah, I could say Orlando Sanchez, you know, Marco Burgos, you know, Stefan and AJ, you know, just to name a few. But, uh, you know, I think uh, I did pretty well my two years over there and got me to where I am today, you know. Afterwards, you went to Ohio University. Mm -hmm. um, you had some other schools available. Mm -hmm. You choose to go there. Mm -hmm. uh, how was your experience at Ohio? Uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I mean, you know, the transition from junior college to college ain't that much of a difference because I think, once again, because of the competition level. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think uh, my junior year, you know, it, it kind of went smooth. Yeah, um, it was a little bit of a struggle the first two months, I would say, you know, just getting used to the early morning workouts and, you know, weight lifting and going to classes right. and just to the flow of, you know, Division One, Division One basketball. Um, but, you know, after my junior year, we had a coaching change and going to my senior year. So I basically had two coaches within two years, you know, which is kind of hard sometimes. But, you know, I, I dealt with it. I played through it and, you know. That's it. Yes, sir. So you graduated. Um, what's your, what, what, I mean, you learned a lot the last two years. Mm -hmm. 
and now you're on the New York Knicks camp. But prior to that, obviously you put your name in the draft process as well, mm -hmm. and you went to a few team tryouts. Mm -hmm. Where did you go? Um, well, my first workout was the, with the Utah Jazz. Uh -huh. then, um, then after that, I went to Memphis. Um, came back to New York to work out with the Knicks. Yep. Then after the Knicks, um, I worked out with the 76ers, um, the Brooklyn Nets, and then Boston. Boston okay. Celtics was my last workout. How, how are they like for you? Uh, you just go in, you meet people, or you just go in, get out? What, what's the process like for you? I mean, you, you kind of go in and get out. You know, you fly in the, the night before, or the day before. Um, you know, wake up the next morning, you go straight to the facility, then you start, you know, doing some physical testing, then working out, and, you know, it's very competitive, you know, but it's just an hour and a half, yeah. or hour 15 minutes up to work out and basically show what you get. And so after the workout, you- Only an hour and 15? Hour 15, hour 30. Wow, you know, it's, pretty, it's pretty short to yeah, show off what yeah, you have. Yeah, definitely true, but, uh, you know, um, then after that, you know, you go to an interviews, maybe with the media or just, you know, the front office people. And okay. after that, you fly out. Did you have to dress up, wear a suit? Uh, not really. I think they really understand that we came in to, you know, just play basketball and work out. So they don't really right. go overboard about it. But, uh, yeah, we didn't have to. Um, how, how's the recruiting process from college to pros? What is that like for you? I mean, it's different, you know, in college, you get to choose wherever you want to go. You yeah. know what I'm saying? People come to you, but, you know, when you start working out or getting ready for the process, it's a, it's a different process. Now, yeah. you, people are going to, you know, watch you. They're going to look at you. Right. They know about you. But this time, you got to go to them. You got to show them what you can do. And, you know, that's basically the difference. And uh, uh, it went pretty smooth. Like, I think um, you didn't have to do much. I feel like because I didn't have anything to lose coming yep. out of, you know, from Senegal to where I'm from to get me here today and out of a mid-major high university. So I was basically the underdog. So I just got to work my way up, no, my way up, no pressure on me at all. And, um, you know, just embrace the moment, I think, the process. Right, right. We got a plane coming. Once again. <laughs> now, how about selecting an agent for you? Um, it wasn't hard. I mean, I signed with my agent about two, three weeks after my season ended. Yeah. Um, and again, it, it went pretty smooth. Um, you know, the agent's going to come to you. Yeah. They, they're obviously going to come to you trying to recruit you, and you're going to talk to different people here and there. But uh, you kind of do your homework, your homework too. You kind of do your background research on whoever is contacting you and how legit they are and how honest right. they are and, you know, how truthful they are. and you know, just to know a little bit more about them and in the business, because it's sometimes, you know, it's different. You mm -hmm. know, a lot of things can happen, but I'm pretty comfortable with who I sign. Um, mm -hmm. Eric Flesher, um, yep. you know, so far he's been great. You played in JUCO, you have one way to play. Uh -huh. Then you play in college, different game. Now mm -hmm. you're playing and trying to get a chance to secure a job at the pros. Uh, what, what kind of game do you bring in to the table? Um, I think uh, for a guy my size, um, I definitely got to use, got to be able to use my athleticism and my length on the court yeah. um, and my speed because I'm not really that big. So I think to the pros, I just, first of all, I, I got to show my defense. I got to, I got to be able to show people that I can guard different positions, yep. um, that I'm versatile on the floor. So that's definitely something I got to have to show. Um, but then again, you know, I've always been known, you know, as as a guy who played with, with a lot of energy. So that's definitely got to show too. And then again, I feel, I feel like when you're in the pros, it's different college, because you got to be able to shoot the ball. You got to be able yeah. to knock down open shots. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I think if, if you can shoot as a big man, it's, it separates you from a lot of people. You know, it's totally different. So yeah. that's something that I, you know, still got to improve and still got to be able to do in the pros, so. Uh, this camp, that's coming up. It's tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. So it's Monday through Friday, I guess. Monday through Friday, nine to five. Yeah, probably, probably. I really don't know. Have no idea how it goes yet, but uh, I'll find out some more. No, nope. no first time for everything. Yes, um, what are you looking forward to accomplish in your career? Um, I, I mean, I love basketball. I love yeah. basketball. So at the end of the day, I feel like I want to be able to play 
for 10, 12, 15 years, who knows, but just play as long as I can. Yeah. Um, and, you know, just live, live my dream. Live my dream. You know, you come here, you come with a dream, you come with a chip on your shoulder. You want to obviously get some things accomplished. And part of that is just taking care of my family, give back to my community. Um, I want to be able to open my, to have my own foundation and help a lot of people and a lot of kids back home in Africa. What, if, if you make it, that'd be great news. Mm -hmm. If you don't, what's the plan B? Um, plan B, you know, there's an opportunity to go to the D-League or to uh -huh. go um, to Europe and play. Yeah. So as far as it concerns me and I feel like if I don't make it, you know, to any team or if I don't get signed or get picked up by any NBA team, I'm just go to Europe and, you know, start a, my pro career. Okay. Okay. Sounds very good. That sounds great. Uh, what do you recommend for other guys that, you know, we were just talking earlier about mm -hmm. how, what school you go to can have an impact on which scout come to you. Mm -hmm. And you talked about something about the airports. Can you explain, explain um, that? I mean, basically, you know, definitely choosing the right school is great. Um, it's a f going somewhere that you're going to fit in is definitely important. But in the same breath, I feel like being in a great location, you yeah. know, because a lot of times scouts just want to fly in and out. You know, they don't want to do all that. You got to fly in, rent a car maybe, and got to go travel another hour and a half or right. two hours to go to a school. But if you're in a school where, you know, you're about 30 minutes away from the airport or, you know, all those factors count, you know. Um, and as for me, I've got more workouts with um, the East Coast team because I'm close to the East Coast. Ah. I was in Ohio. So, you know, if you go somewhere like uh, California, you know, just other school, Vegas or stuff, you got more team coming from the West and, you know, that's just the difference. But, you know, there's a lot of factors that play into it, really. Wow. Well, we're going to wrap it up. Mo, thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you for having me.